Hello everybody, this is Abraham with No Short Computer Services and today I'd like to show you what needs to be done if your CD-ROM got stuck in the Apple slot loader or for that reason any slot loader or CD um, CD drive I should say uh, there is no override button anywhere on this motherboard that I have found to push and eject the CD but normally if the CD is not ejecting there must be a reason for why it's not ejecting and uh, in this case we're going to take the whole CD-ROM apart and uh, see why the CD is not ejecting so I got a couple of screws out that hold the CD-ROM in place let's pull it out, we don't need the computer for this video Position the camera a little more comfortably. Okay, so for this job, we're gonna need a small Phillips screwdriver and a torque for this particular computer. It's a T6 torque. Um, however, before you get to the disassembly, you might want to try something like this a thin strong piece of plastic or metal this is metal um, this metal has some sharp edges if you do not want to damage anything you might want to get uh, like emery cloth and file away some of the sharp sharpness so that's smooth because uh, as you know CD-ROMs are easy to scratch and we'll, we'll use these a little later so let's take apart our CD-ROM drive. So the first thing is we disconnect our um, circuit board that connects the CD-ROM to the computer. And on this particular Mac, uh, it uses the same Torx uh, to have the CD-ROM and uh, the connecting board. I should say screws are the same for CD-ROM mounting and the connecting board. So the torques are done. Pull the CD-ROM out of its holder. And here we have one, two, three, four, four screws that hold the top piece in place. Uh, there is also two little uh, catches that we're going to have to release to get this one out. So let's get our screws out. Oops. Screws out. Now I have done this once or twice before, so I know where I'm hitting. You might want to take greater caution at taking these things apart. They are small, they are fragile, they can be broken. Okay, we got the four screws out. What we're going to do is just push on these catches like that, like that. Okay, so there's a little bow. Okay, the top portion slides out and then up and then out of the way. Okay, we have our DVD which is uh, stuck. So at this point, you could just pull the disk out and uh, reassemble everything back but there must be a reason for why the disk gets stuck in the drive and uh, there are several of them one this may be a bad disk the hole could have been machined improperly uh, when they make these disks, they have to check the clearances on uh, their machines and adjust them frequently. Sometimes on the cheaper disks, they don't do that. When that happens, you put the disk in, it gets stuck on this mechanism. Okay, That is extremely rare. I do did see this, uh, but it's extremely rare. Uh, another thing, if you feel over here it feels very sharp. Okay, this edge of the CD-ROM is very sharp. 
that's probably what caused this disk to be stuck in a drive. Um, most of the CD-ROMs are smoother on the center hole. Um, another reason why this would get stuck is this rubber o-ring sometimes simply deteriorates due to age and um, heat. This o-ring, and I have seen this with my own eyes, this ring, well it, what it does is it allows the CD-ROM to be um, almost glued to the, um, the motor so that it spins properly but because of its unique properties it could fail uh, if it wasn't manufactured properly this ring could become sticky in which case your CD-ROM gets stuck on this ring this could also happen if the CD-ROM has been sitting in the CD drive for a very long time um, another way another reason the CD-ROM may have been placed somewhere there was a little bit of sugar or sugary drink that was spilled on the desk you place the CD-ROM with just the right uh, area and this becomes sticky this gets stuck to the motor that spins it and this whole mechanism is not very powerful so it only has so much force to bring the centerpiece down and eject the disc and if this is glued with a sugar or with a faulty um, o-ring it will not have power so in that case you do have an option of sliding something to free it up okay, in this case so let's imagine this is closed and what you want to do is get your well, let's see in the front in the front if we look in there there is a stopper this stopper prevents another disc from inserting from being inserted into a CD-ROM if there is a disc already inside and that is so you don't damage your drive you don't put two discs in when one is already in so you cannot use anything wide it has to be narrow this thing is perfect now it also needs to be fairly thin okay so what we're doing is we're gonna insert it under the CD-ROM and a knife would work really well okay see this one's a little thicker than I thought okay there it is it goes under the CD-ROM and then you just kinda nudge it a little bit so what you're doing is you're breaking the glue that is connecting the CD-ROM to the motor that's all you're gonna do you're not gonna take it off the spindle otherwise the spindle or I should say the drive will not be able to push the disc out so that's all you do now uh, a lot of people may be very reserved by using a knife you're not going to damage anything if you use a knife properly okay what you need to know is that the CD-ROM goes in um, data side down okay so the label is up if the label is up we can't insert it if the label is up the <clears throat> mechanism for reading the reading head is on the other side so you want to use the side okay if the CD-ROM is facing this way you want to use the side that is okay how do I put it on the right hand side of the uh, so if the CD is facing uh, down you want to use the right hand side for pulling it out the left hand side has the uh, read write head and if you insert it here there is a good chance you'll damage it but if you insert it here there is really nothing that would damage any mechanism it's all metal and this is true for almost all um, uh, um, slot loaders so what you need to do is make sure that the label is up you use the right side 
of the upper label. You insert your pry tool, okay, and you twist it. When it doesn't go any further, now you don't push, okay, otherwise you're going to whack the alignment of the um, CD-ROM motor. And you just twist it a little bit to get the glue um, broken. The rest of the job will be done by the mechanism. It will have enough force to pull itself down and eject the disc. Okay, that's all we're doing. Just inserting and twisting just ever so slightly. I mean, literally. Put it on the side here. That's how much movement you need to do. That's all. After that, the CD-ROM will eject. There is no mystery. It's just that's how they work. All right, so hopefully this helps uh, somebody out there with a uh, CD stuck in a drive. A disclaimer, if you have put a CD-ROM that is half size, the smaller one, into this drive, you're uh, out of luck, as they say, because there isn't much that can be done to take it out aside from tearing the thing apart. If it doesn't fall off, on its own, uh, you're stuck. And if you start sticking things into the drive, have a look inside, there are things that can be damaged. The read-write hat is extremely, extremely precise. You do not want to touch it, you do not want to score the lens, so you keep your knives and tools away from the left side of the CD-ROM. So if the CD-ROM is facing this way, you use the right side this way you use the farther side okay so on some max the CD-ROM is uh, loaded this way on some max it's um, located this way so you always use this left side I'm sorry right side okay so right side of the CD-ROM all of the CD-ROMs have uh, reading heads on the left side so if you use insert something in the right side you will be safe and again, make sure that you use something like a knife that has a very thin profile and it has, you know, it's sharp at the end. So, let me show you again. So you take this, you insert it, and you don't insert it all the way at the back. You insert it between the middle that you that is locked and the end, so about midway. You push it in. If it doesn't go, there may be something that's not letting it go. So don't force. Just push it in. Then you're going to meet the CD-ROM. Then go up under the CD-ROM all the way. Okay. And then you simply turn it like this. Just a little bit. We can use the inch measure to see how far in we need to go. So this is an inch ruler. And we are going to go a maximum of two and a half inches. You do not want to go any farther than two and a half inches to release your CD-ROM. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps some people. Save a few bucks.